Hi guys, it's Loretta with Sparrowhawk Designs. Uh, welcome back to my channel. I'm really so sorry this is going to be a handheld video. Um, and it's very, very quick. I had uh, lots of questions about where I got my numbers for the slow stitch houses that I'm doing. I think I mentioned it in the very first video that they were just, just digital downloads. Um, but anyway, uh, so very quickly, I go to Etsy. I type in digital download label numbers. Um, you could also put in other uh, identifiers like um, pink or rusty or you know something along those lines. Now the first couple things you get are all going to be um, stuff that's ads like that the the shops have paid to be first in line. So usually it's not what I'm looking for. So if you skip on down, um, so here are. Uh, lots of numbers here. Um, this is not really house numbers, but they're kind of grungy numbers. So I typed in uh, digital download label numbers. Um, so here's some vintage ones there. Um, and here are really cool looking ones. I didn't buy those. I should have. Uh, <laughs> And then I think when you finally get down, you'll start getting to more what you're more what I used. So let's see. In fact, I think there's one on here that I actually bought. Um, these are cool looking too. Uh, this one is very cool. It's a it's a uh, there's a whole bunch of different. And then here, vintage number tags. Um, and then, let's see. You can tell it's still not quite what I'm looking for. Finally, you get down here. These vintage number tags here that are, uh, these are actually vertical. These would be perfect for the house. Houses, those are by Betty's Custom Design. Um, and see here's a whole bunch of mega bundle tickets and ephemera uh, la, 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 la. oh and these pretty sure these are the ones that I actually bought yeah here's 792 number 21 and they come in uh, you'll see just a whole different here you go there's the ones I bought so this is um, the Junk Journal Studio, and it is a uh, distressed, what is this called? Distressed numbers, labels, tickets, tags, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, you just purchase these, then they send you a link, you go to it, you download it onto your computer, and then, um, and then you print it out onto fabric. Um, there are several different ways to print stuff out onto fabric. Um, the easiest way probably is to buy fabric sheets at Joanne or Hobby Lobby. I think Michaels even carries them. Um, Walmart might carry them. And, uh, or you can get them in a roll off of Etsy and you just cut it down to your printer size, eight and a half by 11 or whatever it might be, which is what, which is what this first one is. This is from a roll off of Etsy, and then this other one here was done on a fabric sheet from uh, Joanne. I think it was Joanne's. So, um, yeah, you see, so and you can also, there are other ways, I'm sure if you search all over uh, YouTube how to print on fabric, there's probably all kinds of videos about that. Um, <clears throat> you can even tape a piece of cotton fabric onto a piece of paper and run it through your printer if you have a printer <coughs> excuse me that doesn't hate you and will cooperate um yeah so that's all there is to it that's like less than uh, usually the digital kits are about two dollars three dollars uh for all kinds of and then of course you can also print these onto paper to use in your junk journals or your mixed media or whatever you want okay that's all for me now i hope this helped everybody thank you Bye bye